Warren, you wrote in 1977 that the return on equity and growth of book value for corporate America tended towards and averaged about 13%, no matter the inflation environment. After properly expensing options and so-called non-recurring charges and taking into account the high price earnings ratio paid for increasingly frequent acquisitions, do you think that 13% figure is still roughly correct? Also, what quantitative method would you suggest that investors use for expensing the option grants of publicly traded firms where there is no realistic prospect for the substitution of such an options program with a cash-based performance incentive plan. In other words, how do you derive the 5 to 10 percent earnings dilution referred to in this year's Berkshire's annual report? Given today's market and current valuations, if Berkshire Hathaway was a partnership of 100 partners instead of a corporation, would you consider disbanding it as you did 30 years ago? And if not, why not? And was that the right decision back then? Well, if, if our activities were limited to marketable securities, and I had less than 100 partners, uh, and we were operating with this kind of money so that, that there was a real limitation on what we could do, I would, I would simply tell the partners and let them make the decision. That would be easy enough. Uh, we're not in that position. Uh, a, we've got a number of wonderful businesses, and, and those businesses are, will grow in value, and in some cases very significantly in value. And it's not a feasible way. People have their own way if they decide that, that uh, since we're unable to find things, that they'd rather go on to something else. They have their own way of getting out, and they can get out at, a, at uh, certainly a premium to the amount of money they put into the business uh, uh, over the years. So uh, <clears throat> if, I were, if I were running a marketable securities portfolio now and were limited to that, uh, I, would, I would explain very carefully to my partners how limited uh, my ability to make money in this market would be, and then I would ask them to do whatever they wish to do. Some of them might want to pull out and others might want to stay. In the 1969 period when I closed up, uh, A, I had a somewhat similar situation in terms of finding things, and B, I really felt that the expectations of people had been so raised by the experience we'd had over the previous 13 years that that it, it, it made me very uncomfortable, uh, and I felt unable to, to, to dampen those um, expectations. And I really just didn't, I, I didn't find it comfortable to operate where my partners, even though they might nod their heads understandingly and say that, you know, we really know why you aren't making any money while everybody else is. I didn't think I, 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 didn't think I wanted to face the, the internal pressure that would come from that. I, I, I don't feel any such internal pressure in, in running Berkshire. Charlie? Yeah, that, I think there are some similarities between 1969 and 70 uh, and the present time, but I don't think that means that 1973-4 lies right uh, ahead of us. We can't predict that. Uh, you can argue it worked out wonderfully for Warren to quit. And, 69 and then have 73-4 to, uh, to come into with his powder dry. Uh, I don't think we're likely to be quite that fortunate again. Yeah, it was a long time from 69, though, to 73. I mean, it, it, it sounds easy looking back, but, it, but uh, the Nifty 50, as you may remember, sort of hit their peak in, in 72. So uh, although there was a sinking spell for a while in that 69-70 period, uh, the market came back very strong, but you know that, that's that's part of the game. I mean, it stayed cheap a long time um, in the seven from the 73 period on, and you will find waves of optimism and pessimism, and uh, they'll never be exactly like they were before, but but they will come in some some form or other. Um, we, but that, doesn't, that does not mean we're sitting around with a bunch of cash because we expect stocks to go down, though. We, we, we keep looking for things. We're looking for things right now. We've, we're talking to people right now about, about things that, that where we could expend substantial sums of money, but it's much more difficult in this period.